right. What up, people? What's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. Locario. The bad boy of the dating game. What's good? What's the deal? So today, I'm going to be talking about how being successful doesn't make it easier for you to get women. It doesn't. Okay, and you know, I've talked about this before. Um, but I want to stress the easier part because I know guys are going to say, oh, but girls will fuck with you if you got money and you got status, you got this. I'm talking, look, emphasis on the word easier. What up, Damon? What up, Robert? What's popping? What's going on, bro? What's going on with you guys? Remember, guys, make sure you get How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, ebook, hard copy, audiobook. Make sure you get your copy today. Go to MrLocario.com to get your copy today. You feel me? So make sure you guys go and get that. Mm, what up? Dylon SBX was good. So yeah, so you know, what I want to let cats know, right, is that being successful doesn't make it easier for you to get women. Now, understand you should be being successful for you. You should try to be successful, do your thing, make shit happen how you need to make it happen for you. What up, Vincent, Vincent Fox was popping? Make shit happen for you. You understand? But if you are, if you think that I just need to focus on success as far as my finances or as far as, you know, me doing the things that I want to do in life and that's going to automatically get me girls or girls are going to be more attracted to me, you're fooling yourself. You understand? See, what you have to understand is that your, let's say, financial success or your just success, let's say, with anything else that you're trying to do, it's different than your success or the success that you will have dealing with women. You understand what I'm saying? This is the thing guys don't understand and they don't want to address. They don't want to come to terms with this. Because when guys say, well, I just got to get my money up or I got to be successful first, right? That's giving guys uh, false hope. I, I see this a lot where a lot of videos, a lot of message boards, and they'd be like, oh, you know, all this, uh, you know, game and stuff is false hope and blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. You know what's false hope? False hope is thinking that if you have a lot of money or you're successful, it's going to make it easier for you to get women. That's false hope. So what happens is you're, you're focusing on trying to get the money to get the women, Right? Now, again, focus on your money to get your money. Focus on being successful to be successful. But if you're focusing on money because you think women are automatically going to flock to you, you're fooling yourself. Russell Austin, you said money always makes everything easy. Money solves 90% of your problems. You got more, more women when you had money. Now, first of all, money is not going to solve 90% of your problems. You understand what I'm saying? Because there's things that, that um, you may be in situations where money can't solve it. You feel what I'm saying? And now, Russell, the thing was is that, and this is what happens with a lot of guys. They say, well, when I got money, I got more chicks. Now, usually what happens is most of these dudes is tricking, but also what happens is guys start to get a little bit more confident when they get money. So it was really your confidence in a lot of cases that got you the girls, not necessarily just because you have more money. The more money made you feel good about yourself, you feeling good about yourself made you more attractive to women. See, this is what guys don't understand. They think it's just the money. Because a guy can have money and still not feel good about himself. A guy can have money and still be insecure. So, you know, you said, fat, you said money brings confidence. Well, it doesn't necessarily bring confidence. You can feel confident 
because you have money, but it doesn't necessarily bring it. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it depends on your perspective. So I don't want... See, this is the thing. When I when I try to explain things, I don't want guys to look at shit in a, in, in a simple-minded way. You understand? Because when you look at it in a simple-minded way, if you think, oh, well, if, as soon as I get money, I'll be confident. And I just did a, co a video on confidence earlier on my page, so you guys should check that out. I called it confidence versus competence. So I'm not going to get into it now, but definitely check out that on the page. Right. What I don't want you to think is I don't want you to think getting the money is going to automatically uh, make you feel good about yourself or make you have a confident essence about you. It's the same way where people think, well, as soon as I get money or as soon as I get a car or as soon as I get this girl, I'll be happy. Then they get the car, the girl and the money and they're still unhappy. Why? Because they don't understand that that's not the thing that makes you happy. Ross Goldberg, you said, so if being successful will make it easier for you to get women, then does uh, that mean that most male celebrities who get the women they want have been tricking? Well, yeah, a lot of them trick. See, the thing is this. The only way it makes it easier for you if you have money is if you're tricking. You understand what I'm saying? If you straight up paying for women, yeah, that'll make it easier. If, you, if we talk about money. Now, I'm talking about success in general, meaning... But usually a lot of dudes, when they think about success, they think just about money, um, which is why I guess we're talking about money. But just in general, your success doesn't make you get girls. You understand what I'm saying? What makes you get girls is if you're an attractive dude. Now, can you being successful uh, give you an aura where you're a little bit more attractive than a guy who's not successful in certain situations? Yes. But what you got to understand is, is that being successful doesn't automatically get you those girls or make it easier. This is why you have guys who are successful who buy programs about getting women. You understand? So if it was just about being successful, why would any successful guy need to watch uh, videos for dating coaches? For what? You understand what I'm saying? CJD says, so how do you explain how celebrities manage to get tons of women? Well, that's the thing. A lot of celebrities, they don't necessarily get tons of women like that. You understand what I'm saying? There's celebrities who they'll get women because they'll trick off on the chick and they're pulling them through based off of their fame. See, what, what I want you guys to understand is this. When I'm talking about you getting a girl, right? When, you, when I'm talking about you attracting a woman, I'm talking about a woman, right? Being attracted to who you are and what you're about. You understand what I'm saying? So a, a celebrity, a guy who's famous, of course, she's, he's going to attract certain women because he attracts people in general because they're like, oh, that's that famous guy. Wow, I'm so amazed. Oh my goodness, can I get a picture with you? Blah, 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 blah. You understand what I'm saying? But what you don't understand is, is that, like, I'll give you a story. There was this one girl I was I was um trying to holler at. I'm not going to tell you who the celebrity was, was that was in the spot that was trying to get at her. But basically, there was a guy, he was a, he's a rap artist, and I'm in the spot, she's in the spot. This dude's trying to holler, and but she's fucking with me while this nigga's over here trying to make shit happen with her. But she ends up fucking with me. You, you understand what I'm saying? So just because he had more money and because he was, cele was, was a celebrity doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be automatic all the time. There's a lot of celebrities who get caught up in tricking and buying prostitutes again. Like I, I did a video about this years ago where James Franco, who was a celebrity, who was also a sex symbol, got caught up trying to talk to some 17-year-old or something like that. You see what I'm saying? He has He's successful. He has the money and the fame. And he still got caught out there being on some bullshit. You see what I'm saying? So this is the thing. 
when we talk about easier, right? I want you guys to understand, I'm talking about you actually having interesting and healthy situations with these women. So what I mean is, for example, we could talk about easier in the sense of, well, you know what? It's easier to, you know, rob somebody and, and take all their money so you could have money versus working, you know, a nine to five to get to get money. You see what I'm saying? It's easier to just go rob that person. But is it is robbing that person the more healthy situation versus working for some money? You see what I'm saying? So when we talk about these celebrities and these guys out here, yeah, they'll get a bunch of gold diggers and goofy ass chicks trying to uh, run up on them. But then this is where you have a lot of motherfuckers that be on the bullshit or, or, or they get into the bullshit. Myth twist. How is that a false equivalency? How? How? Give me an, give me give me a reason how that's a false equivalency. Because what? So you think when a woman sees a celebrity, or she she sees a dude who who is 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 fucking with um, or she sees a dude who has a lot of money, that she's not the type of of woman who's in a position where their situation is going to be authentic. You said Robin is Ill illegal getting rich is not. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the fact is, is that guys are saying, well, you're a celebrity and you have all this money, so you're going to get girls. Yes, you can get girls, but what type of situation are you in with the girls you're getting? So this is why I'm using the robbing to get money and getting money at the job. You can get money both ways, but which way is the more healthy way of getting money? Which way is the more uh, positive way to get money? So when you're a, a, a guy who's a celebrity, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, you're getting a girl, but is that a more positive way to interact with these chicks? Because truth be told, a lot of these celebrities have to watch their back so that when they do fuck with a chick, they don't come into a situation where the chick says, oh shit, um, he did this to me. I want a million dollars for my uh, pain and suffering and all. There's a lot of celebrities who have to have a protocol before they even fuck with certain chicks. You understand what I'm saying? So this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. So I'm not saying that, um, yeah, it, you know, they'll get chicks fucking with them. But a lot of times there's a lot of shit that goes along with that that you're not thinking about. You said it may not be positive, it may not be always healthier, but it's certainly easier. It, I agree, but that's what but that's what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is when I say being successful doesn't make it easier to get with women, what I'm saying is is that if you're actually trying to have an authentic situation with a woman, being successful or having money doesn't bring that authenticity. You understand what I'm saying? Just like I'm saying robbing someone for the money is going to get you into more fucked up situations than actually just getting the money, uh, you know, on some job shit. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And plus, all, you know, the thing is with, with, with the conversation is this, is that why are we even talking about celebrities? None of y'all ain't celebrities, right? So what, what does that even pertain to you? I'm talking about you guys out there, Right? who are trying to get women who think that you being a you being uh successful is the thing that is going to make it easier for you to get them you understand i give you an example like this i thought that when i got money right i thought that when i got C C J D. I'm about to talk about that right now. You said, Lokar, you got that money now. So has it made it easier for you in any way with women? And also has it improved your life? Now, this is what I, and, and I'm glad you asked because I'm about to go into that. I thought when I got money, right, it would be easier for me to, I should say, promote myself with my business, um, to, hire people to do certain things 
You understand? But what I noticed was, was that there were situations where, let's say, okay, so for example, um, shout out to my dude Tariq Nasheed. So if you listen to, to Tariq Nasheed's podcast, I promote my bad boy membership on his podcast, right? Do you know that there were other businesses and companies that I tried to promote my shit with where they wouldn't promote me even though I had money? Like I had money in hand, I'm ready to write them the check to promote my shit on their shit. And they still wouldn't take my stuff. For whatever reason, I don't know. Maybe they didn't, they didn't like me, they didn't like the message I'm sending, I don't know. But just because I had the money, it didn't make it easier for me to get my shit in certain, certain situations. You understand? So, this is what I'm saying. Now, of course, there are times where you having the money and all that can make shit easier. But what I'm saying is when it comes to women, though, women, you understand? When it comes to dealing with women, it's not going to make it easier for you. Why? Because women, when it comes to them being attracted to you, right? Right? And especially for what you guys want, you understand? It has to be sexual attraction. You see what I'm saying? Myth twist, he said, is not a requirement and it's certainly not over, it's certainly overestimated by most guys, but I don't like that sometimes people try to downplay it like it doesn't factor in at all. No, no, and this is the thing, myth twist. Money factors in when a chick wants you for your money. If she wants you to provide money for her, if she wants your resources, if she wants you to spend money on her, if she wants you to wine and dine her, that's when money is, is good for you. That's when money is going to help you. But again, it's not going to make it easier for you to get her. You still got to go and approach, talk, interact with the chick. And then because she sees you have money, she says, oh shit, I don't really like this guy, but because he has money, I'll fuck with him. You understand what I'm saying? Alex uh, uh, River, you said, let me put a twist on this. Do you think women are interested in men who have no money? Of course. How do you think these broke ass dudes get to fuck all these women and get them pregnant? How? How do these broke dudes get to get with these women who are successful, end up sleeping in their house, eating all their food, bar in their car? How does that happen? You see what I'm saying? How does it happen? <clears throat> because what, what guys don't understand when it comes to, to dealing with women is this. There is a, a natural primal urge that women have when it comes to them being attracted to a man. That has nothing to really do with your money. And, I'm, and again, I'm talking about sexual attraction. See, that, that, that urge is that sexual attraction. That urge is for her to want your dick in her vagina. You understand what I'm saying? Money has nothing to do with that. Success has nothing to do with that. You understand? Which is why the broke dudes consistently fucking. So for all of you guys that, you know, y'all always wondering about like, Damn, this shit is fucking hot as shit in this motherfucker. So for all of you guys who always wondering about like, you know, women when it comes to like get you know the money and the status and all that dumb shit, bruh. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all wilding out. Y'all are wilding out. Man, Mr. James Bond, says sexual attraction plus money makes it far easier. You don't have to spend money on her, though. You spend money on yourself to provide a fun date for the girl, etc. Nice house, spa, pool, jet ski, car. But Mr. James Bond, why do you need to do all that? You don't need to do none of that. Why do you need to do all that? Seriously. Why do you need to do all that? 
Think about it. Why, why do you need to do all that? You said, is money and success matter for being in a serious long-term relationship or marriage with a chick? Now, when it comes to that, that's when money will, be, will matter more. You understand? So if you're, so if you're trying to get into a, a marriage with a woman, right? That's going to matter more about you being successful or you having the money. You understand? Because you're in that long-term relationship. And she's looking for someone to, uh, you know, provide and protect. She's looking for someone who has resources. If she gets pregnant, she wants to have somebody there to help her take care of the baby and all that other shit. You understand? You said money and status is a bonus. Women are too emotional. They care more for your confidence. That is true. And that's the thing that dudes gotta understand. The whole money and the status and all that, that's a bonus. Like if you if you got if she's sexually attracted to you and you got money, cool. You feel what I'm saying? But due to who think being successful or you know having a lot of money is going to make it easier. You're fooling yourself unless you're tricking. You understand? You said when we're discussing things like this, we have to be clear on what kinds of women we're talking about and how we're interacting with them. It's If it's simply about banging once or twice, that's different. Well, yeah, again, if you're tricking, listen, if you're tricking... If you are trying to basically pay a chick to fuck, that's the only way your money is going to make it easier. Now, when you talk about just being successful, period, you understand? You know, it, it, it's that's a little bit more of a general thing. But let's let's stick to money then, since we don't talk about money. So, myth twist: if you want to make it easier and bring and, and you're talking about money in the equation, if you're tricking, yes. You understand? That's the only way it's going to be easier for you. That's the only way. But other than that, it's not. So guys, what they think is, they think that them having money makes them more sexually attractive to a woman. That's the mistake. Having money does not make you more sexually attractive to a woman. You understand? A woman will have sex with you because you have money, because she's trying to get some money, but that doesn't make you sexually attractive. You see what I'm saying? CJ, do you say dudes think if they're driving a Ferrari or a Lambo, it equals automatic lays? Exactly. I, had a, <laughs> I knew somebody who... Was 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 banging this chick, and this dude hardly had no money. But one day, the girl he was banging went on a date with the dude. The date had some fancy ass card, you know, dude with the money, whatever. He ends up dropping the girl off to the dude's house. He didn't know it was the dude's house. She lied to him and said it was one of her girlfriend's house. So the nigga who went on a date with her, who had the money. Dropped her off to get fucked by some other guy. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Because see, what guys got to understand is this. Okay, let's say, for example, you're successful, uh, you know, let's say you're, you're a, a successful college professor, right? You're, you, you, you've been working at the college for a while. You're successful at it. You're really good at what you do. Now, me and you go to a, a bar, an event. How is you being a successful college professor going to get you laid that night? Huh? How, how is that going to get you laid? Seriously, I want I want to know. How is you being, let's say, this, we just talk hypothetically. 
you're a successful college professor. Me and you go out to a, a, an event or a bar or whatever. How, how is that going to get you laid? You're successful. How is it getting, how is it going to make you make it easier for you to get sex? How do you use your success as a college professor to get you sex? How? What do you do? <laughs> you understand? This is the thing that guys don't understand. No matter what you're doing, you still have to apply game. So that college professor could walk up in there, have a conversation with a woman, flirt with her, create sexual tension, and bring her home. But guess what? None of that had to do with him being a college professor and being successful. You understand? Absolutely nothing, none of that had to do with being a successful college professor. You see what I'm saying? That, that same dude who's a successful college professor could have been an unemployed dude and had the same results. You know what I'm saying? You said you're more confident when you're successful and then you got more balls to approach women due to that and then you get better and better at game the more experience you get talking to women. Okay, some dudes are looking at it that way. But also, could, couldn't you be confident without having the success, which is something I talked about in my last video I just posted up? You understand? Let me see what you guys are saying here. Man. You said that's how being rich could actually make you better, have better results with women if it's if it gives you more confidence. Well, this is the thing also. See, this is why I love the game. This is why I love the game so much because I was talking to Miles about this the other day. I was like, no matter what you do, Right? There's levels to this shit. There's there's other things upon other things you got to think about. So, you said if you're rich, you'll probably be more confident, which will help you with, with women. Now, in a general sense, okay, if you're more confident, women will be more attracted to you, right? But at the same time, though, with the confidence, you still need to know how to Interact with women, talk to them, uh, build sexual tension, all that other shit. You see what I'm saying? And and see and see, you know, the crazy part about it is this: is that if you're only confident because you're rich or you have a lot of money, that means that your confidence is kind of shaky because it's based just off of your money. See, and that's the thing. I like, I hate to be the one to have to tell you guys this because it's like. A lot, a lot of people would be thinking I'm bullshitting when I'm talking about this. You understand? But the thing is, is that what guys got to understand is, is that what makes a woman want to fuck with you on a sexual level, because that's that's what y'all care about. Y'all don't care about being a woman's friend. Y'all don't care about taking a woman on a whole bunch of dates. Y'all don't care about talking to a woman on the phone all day. Y'all care about having sex with a woman, having a sexual situation with a woman. Right, your success and or your money doesn't make it easier for that to happen. Like a lot of my clients are successful and have a lot of money. You understand? A lot of dudes who go to pickup artist boot camps are successful and have a lot of money. You understand? Those joints ain't cheap. Those things are not cheap. You understand? CJD, you say yes, but you can learn all that and then get better at that the more you talk to women. But see, that's the thing. All the things that you're talking about, because you said being rich can give men the confidence and the added boost they need to go out and talk to women, which I'm not saying I agree with to need that to talk to women, but it can work when you think about it. Okay, well, how about you... you be confident now without having to get rich. 
He out down. He said confidence starts at the gym. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, all you guys need to go after this. Watch the video I just put up called confidence versus competence. You all need to see that. Y'all all need to watch that video confidence versus competence. You understand? Because the whole gym thing, yeah, that can boost how you feel about yourself. Getting rich or getting a lot of money can boost how you feel about yourself. But that's not where it starts. Do you understand that you can just be confident now? This is what guys don't understand. And this is what I'm saying where a lot of dudes, they think they need to be successful first, then they can get women. They're like, I got to start, I got to be successful first, then I can get girls. I can't get girls until I'm successful. Or the reason why it's hard for me to get girls now is because I don't have enough money or I'm not as successful. You see what I'm saying? Which is why you end up staying stagnant because what happens is, is that if you're not getting, see, it's, it's almost like you're, 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 you're on a wild goose chase because what happens is this. Let's say you're a guy who's making $50,000 and you have a good job, right? Or, you know, let's say you have a business and you're making 50000 a year on your, of your business, but you're still having trouble getting women. You know what you're going to say? You're going to say, well, you know what? I need to be more successful. I need to get more money. Maybe I got to make a hundred grand. Maybe I got to upgrade from the, 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 the station wagon to the Benz. Then I'm going to get more chicks. I got to go from 100K to 200K. Then I'm going to have more women. You feel what I'm saying? Intense power, you said, how about the looks? See, and that's the funny thing. Your looks will actually make it easier for you more than being successful or having a lot of money. You understand what I'm saying? Your looks will actually make it easier than having money or being successful when it comes to a woman wanting to fuck with you. You understand? So, so, <laughs> so if we're, if we're, if we're, if we're comparing looks and like success and money, your looks are going to be, make it way more easier for you. You know why? Because your looks are part of what gives you that sexual appeal, which in turn makes a woman want to have sex with you. You understand? You understand? But again, your looks are subjective and, right, you still have to have that sex appeal. Love life, you said, so do looks matter? Yeah, if the girl thinks you look good. <laughs> it matters if she, think they, if, the, if she thinks that you look good. And, if, and of course, like you said, and they don't matter because a chick don't need to think you look good to want to fuck with you. I've said this a million fucking times. See, it's funny because, damn, I was itching like crazy, shit. A lot of dudes have selective hearing. Because I tell cats, I'm like, look, saying looks matter and looks don't matter are both right. You feel what I'm saying? But the thing is, if we had to choose between your success and your money and your looks, your looks are going to make it far more easier for you to be sexually attractive to a woman than your money or your status and all of that other shit. You see what I'm saying? Because a woman can look at you, think you're physically attractive, and be turned on by the way you look. But again, don't get it twisted because I got to do the flip side because a lot of the guys who don't get this will get confused. And this is again why I said I love the game. Right? Because you can, a girl could think you look good and still not be sexually attracted to you. So even though your looks can make it easier for you to get the chick, your looks can still not make it easier for you to get the chick. 
That's what's so fucking crazy about this whole thing. You see what I'm saying? You said, okay, you're better off obviously having looks over not having looks. Okay, so let's explore that again for, for the million time. Let's say, you know, me and you go to a party, right? And the women in the party, let's say there's 100 girls in a party. And... 10 of them think you look good. The other 90 don't. So your looks are going to matter to those 10, but the 90, it don't fucking matter because they don't think you look good. Or we go to another party, 90 of the women think you look good and 10 don't. You see what I'm saying? It all depends. He said, Lucario, do you think if you were ugly and have less results with women, but everything else is in your life is the same? Well, the thing is, you know, niggas on the internet who's obsessed with looks, they they talking about how I'm super ugly, which is which I find funny because if I'm super ugly, but I'm still getting girls, doesn't that prove that looks don't matter? You see what I'm saying? So, you know, it's 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 just funny. But again, like I said, looks matter and looks don't matter. You know why? Because I'm going to go up to some girl. She's going to think I'm cute. And then she's going to probably want to talk to me because she think I'm cute. And then I'm going to go to another girl. And she's not going to think I'm that cute. So who's who's right? Is this girl right or that girl right? You see what I'm saying? And this is why I, I, I focus on not worrying about it and it doesn't matter because the girls who are going to think you're physically attractive are going to think you're physically attractive. The ones who are not, are not. Period. It don't matter. You feel what I'm saying? Exactly, John. It's about preference. That's all dudes got to understand. So you got to, so if you want your looks to be an advantage for you, find the women who think that you look good. James Ogley, you said there was a, a page about me on a, on an Intel website. Yeah, I saw that page. I saw that shit. That shit was hilarious. That shit had me dying. <laughs> that shit had me dying. You understand? But, but it's funny because, yeah, it, it was some Intel page. They was like, they was like, uh, it's like, how, did, how does Mr. Locario, uh, I think they said something about like, oh, he he was a model. This guy is so ugly. How was he a model? <laughs> oh, this shit was funny. This shit was funny. I was like, my God, this shit is, is comedy right here. Mitzwith, you said your main argument here was that status and all that shit makes it easier. I'm not saying it's essential guaranteed, but saying it don't make it easier is nonsense. I disagree. Please show me again. Like I said, with the exception of tricking, how does it make it easier? And sometimes even tricking ain't even that easy because sometimes if, unless you're in a, in a, in a, in a, um, let's say a, a, a country or a state or whatever, where and when I say tricking, I'm talking about just paying for pussy straight out. Um, unless you're in a country or a place that it's legal, you still got to fucking find the girls who's going to want, who's going to take the payment for the sex. You see what I'm saying? Let me take a call real quick. Yo, what's popping? Who's this? Yo, 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 Lucario, what's good, man? What's going on? It's a big Stain, man. It's a Big Stain, back again. All right, what's popping? Are, are you, are you on a bad boy membership, Big Stain? I forgot Yo, if you bro, were. I'm not. I'm not on the membership yet, yet, bro. You gotta well, you get know, on that, bro. Come. All right, so what's good, bro? What's good with you? I ain't nothing, you know. Like uh, looking at the title of the video and all that, and uh, um, like, you no, know, definitely gotta agree with you. You know, success won't make it easier for you because just because you got money or whatever, there's girls out here, these gold diggers, mm. they so fucked up in the head. Like 
they want to do with money. They want to do with bread because, mm. you know, they're tired of broke dudes or whatever, but that's not what they sexually attracted to. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, that's not going to get them going. They want, okay, they want that stability, but at the end of the day, that's not the dude that they like. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. That dude doesn't get their cushy wet. Exactly. So what happens is they're going to end up cheating on your ass, and then when she knows your game is weak, all you got is money, that's all you can bring to the table, like, that shit don't that shit don't turn a chick on, man. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. she's just doing that because, because of her insecurity. She's tired of letting dudes use her car, mm-hmm. tired of dudes living rent free. So she in her head, she's like, Okay, I, I need dudes that got money. Exactly. But at the end of the day, that's not what she desires, bro. Like, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I, I get what I get where these dudes are coming from, you know, mm-hmm. the good looks, the success, but you just can't be all that. You you need that as a man, but that's not the number one thing. You can't just let your success in what you got determine how you're going to get females. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You got to have a good mouthpiece. You got to have some swag. They got to like you for who you are. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's all I'm trying to say to these cats. But they, because, you know, the, the problem is, is that because, because guys get some play when they have money, right? They think that that is it. Like, oh, well, if I got money, then all I got to do is, is, you know, get money and, and, and chicks is going to flock to me. But they don't realize that the reason why the girl will fuck with you just because you have money is because she's trying to get at the money. That's it. So if you if you lose the money, she's out. Or she finds somebody else yeah. who has more money than you who's willing to fuck with her, she's yeah. out. You feel what I'm saying? And that's the thing that dudes don't get is that the thing that makes a woman uh, emotionally attached to a guy is how she feels about him overall as far as her desiring him. So if she don't desire you, then you're just a placeholder. You're just there for right now until something else better comes along. Because dudes always talk about hypergamy and all this other shit. Hi- hypergamy is is that that right there is a, a a fucking issue for dudes who think it's about money and status and all this other stuff because they're scared she's gonna find somebody else with more money and more status. You feel what I'm saying? But when you yeah, have a right, chick's right. mind, is see this is the thing guys don't understand. It's hard for a chick to leave you. When she's emotionally invested in you, when she is yeah. attached to you emotionally, when a chick's fucking with you just because you got money, there's no emotional attachment there. You see what I'm saying? She's attached to the money. You know what I'm saying? But there's really no emotional attachment. So therefore, if she can monkey branch, because that's the thing the, the term they use, if she could monkey branch to the other guy, meaning swing over to the other guy who has more, she's gonna do that shit in a heartbeat. You feel what I'm saying? But that's the thing, because she's not emotionally attached to you. She's emotionally attached to money. So when she finds somebody else who has more money, then you're done. It's really that simple. You see what I mean? So it's, it's, it's real talk, man. It's real talk. Hey guys, Lucario's spitting that truth, man, yeah, because man. that's what's going to end up happening, man. You don't want to be a trick out here, man. You know, girls going to laugh at you right, right, right in your face. You know what I mm. mean? You're going to be the subject of the group chat. You know, you're just going <laughs> to be getting used. And, um... Another thing I want to say, like, I, I just got put on Lucario like a couple months ago or whatever. And, you know what I mean? A lot of people will say, oh, why do people need a dating coach or whatever? Mm. And a, a lot of guys got to understand, you, you're going to need a coach. Mm. Even LeBron needs a coach. Exactly. Kobe Facts. Needs a coach. Facts. <laughs> because what you got to understand is you out there being the player. You need somebody to tell you your strengths, your weaknesses, because this is what you do for a living. Mm. So... If somebody's a dentist and they motherfucking know how to fix people's teeth, you're not going to be the best date guy in the dating game because, mm. you know, you're a dentist. You, you need somebody who does that full time to help you, which is mm. strengths, your weaknesses, and all that. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So, like, a coach is definitely going to help you, especially a lot of these guys. Like, they don't even really know what they're doing. There's some intermediate guys. Like, even I would say me, like, I'm, I know part of the game. That, that That's how I resonated with you because I'm like, yo, this guy, he ain't faking the funk. Mm. Like, I had these guys online, like, I think it was that white dude, Tyler, like, he's always acting like it's some mind tricks or some crazy shit, and he got the video, which is cool, mm. but it's like, it's not organic. You know what mm. I'm saying? Mm. So, like, like, dudes, y- y- y'all definitely gonna need a coach, and like, you know what I mean? When, when I get my shit together, you know, I'm definitely gonna fuck with that bad boy membership and all that. You know what I'm saying? But, That's um, definitely, up. a coach could definitely help, man. That's what's up, man. Y'all appreciate the call, my dude. All right? I'm gonna get a few more of these, man. Yeah, definitely, thanks for calling in. All right? Know, bro. That's my dude. That's my dude right there. So the caller number six four six four eight one. Oh, we got we got K Zagging in the building. What's popping, K Zagging? What's going on, bro? Three nine zero one. Man, but it's I'm I'll be y'all. I'm trying to drill it in y'all head. 
Because what I want you guys to focus on <clears throat> when it comes to getting... Because what you want to do is you want to be successful in attracting women. Period. You understand? You want to be successful in knowing how to attract women. This is what this is what the game is about when it comes to dating and, and having relationships with women. You see what I mean? Yo, what's popping? Who's this? Yo, what's popping? Man? It's your boy, Mark. What's popping, bro? Are you on the Bad Boy membership? Nah, I ain't on the Bad Boy membership. Gotta get on it, bro. Gotta get on it. So what's good with you? Nah, nah, nah. You know what, though? Look, I was, uh, I was cool in this shit. I was considering getting, uh, what is that, 60 seconds and uh, two days, you know, two women a day joint. I'm gonna try to get that. But yeah, definitely. I'm make cool, that happen. Man. What's going on I'm with cool. you, though? I just wanna... Shit, man, I'm just cool. I just want to hop on and say a couple of things. You know, the topic about confidence and whatnot, you mm. know, so. Yeah, like... Yeah, man, I'm just, I'm really just getting well versed in this whole game, you know what I mean? Like, far as mm. the dating, and even the more open aspect, like, far as life being the game and strategizing, you know, get success. A lot of dudes think confidence comes from success, mm. but that shit don't. Like, a lot of times, because I, I didn't been, I, it didn't been times I had my money right, you know what I mean? And then you get that confidence. So I know how I feel to have that confidence mm. and you financially balanced, you know what I mean? You, you got your money right. And then when all that shit is taken away from you, and you hit rock bottom, where the fuck is your confidence at? Right, you know exactly. I mean? That's <laughs> what I'm saying. That's what, and I don't, and I don't want, I don't want dudes to to get into that space where it's like, okay, I'm feeling good because I got all this money, blah 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 blah. blah. Then when all yeah. that shit goes away, you're like, you know, what I'm saying you fucked up in the game because automatically you're gonna start feeling insecure and feeling like you know your 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 self worth was tied into your money and your success and all this other shit. So again, I'm telling dudes, definitely, you know, get get your, you know, do your thing. Be successful. That's great. That's mm -hmm. fucking awesome. But don't do that. Think just to try to get girls or thinking that's going to make it easier for you to get girls. Because what's yeah. going to happen is when yeah. you notice it doesn't make it easier. When you notice that you're still having trouble attracting women and getting girls and they flaking on you and they being on some bullshit and all this other stuff, you're going to wonder like, damn, like what the, because it's going to be a, a, a situation where you're going to get even more angry and frustrated and, 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 and fucked up in the game because you thought that it was supposed to be, this was the end all be all. You thought that as soon as I get this cracking, yeah. this was going to happen. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. when you have that mindset, it's like you, it, it takes you deeper into that anger you're gonna have, you understand that, oh, that yeah. frustration, you know, <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Yeah, and, uh, like a lot of times, like, right? like even if you think like that, because I used to think like that, like I was saying previously, but mm. um, shit, you know, like you don't even wanna, you don't even wanna do nothing because you just, you kind of like pushing it off, like you, you really not even living life to the full extent because you gotta mm. set barrier for real. Like I ain't gonna really do the things I wanna do until I get this amount of money. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I know when I get this amount of money, I'm gonna be good. But like in actuality, you know, like like right now, and I ain't really financially stable as I want to be and shit. But I'm not letting that affect how I'm going about, you know, talking to women. Still trying to make shit happen. Like, right. I'm a fucking I'm a man, right? So if I want if I want to get some sex today, I ain't gonna say, oh, like I ain't I ain't got no money. I ain't really I ain't really popping like I want to be. Like I ain't gonna get the sex. No, fuck that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just do what I gotta do. To get this shit popping, like, yeah, like I'm, I'm at mom's crib. I just had, I just had a chick. Like, I was doing my thing online for real. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, because I'm, I'm still like trying to work, get my little, uh, get my job. And shit. I'm back and forth, man. Like, I'm back mm -hmm. and forth between jobs and shit. But man, like, I have these bitches coming through off online. Like, I go in there, slide in the inboxes like mm -hmm. twenty times a day. You know what I mean? Right. I'm just getting them. You know what I mean? Talking to them, being straight to the point. Right. Some slide through, some don't. But like the ones that slide through, mm -hmm. make that shit pop, yo. That, and, that, and see, that's and that's what that's yeah. what I want guys to understand is that there's a difference between, um, and and I, and I always love to use the the the, the Spider Man, um, you know, movies and all that as an example because I did an article years ago called Spider Man Syndrome, and that's what a lot of guys have yeah. where they where they they'll be successful in their other parts of their life. But when it comes to dealing with women, they can't do it. Just like Spider-Man, he was a fucking superhero. He'd jump off buildings, defeat bad guys, all this other shit. But when it came to Mary Jane, 
he didn't know what the fuck to do. You understand what I'm saying? And this right, is what right. happens with a lot of guys. You see what I mean? A lot of dudes got the Spider-Man syndrome where, yeah, you're successful, you got money, but when it comes to dealing with women, can you do that? It's you know what I mean? And, right. and it's funny because right. in any other in any other aspect of life, right? Nobody really thinks that they don't they don't take the same logic. That's like me saying, well, since I'm since I'm a successful uh, you know, like businessman, you understand? Or or let's say if I say I'm, since I'm a successful banker, that means that it's going to be easier for me to like fucking I don't know fly a plane or some shit. Or because I'm a successful chef, it's going to be easier for me to fucking uh, run a marathon. Like like how how do you get from one thing and then, then everything else in that situation is like that don't even make sense. So how are you because you're successful? That makes it easier for you to know how to attract women. And see, the problem is, is that we've been taught that women are attracted to us if we're successful, we have money, we have status, all this other shit. But we never been taught how to attract women. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Yeah, That's the crazy part. Pump that shit. You know, like niggas been niggas from the hood and all that. Mm. They been pumping that shit. You know, like you having problems, you talk to your boy, niggas like, yo, don't even worry about it. Get your money up. Right, right. You know what I mean? Right. And, you, and shit, all them bitches gonna hop on your dick. Right, right. And, see, and see, that's the illusion. They think that because, they think that because this is the thing, dudes do, a lot of dudes have such a, a low level way of thinking or they have such, um you know, like, like they're on a like they don't have a high status sort of energy about them. You understand? They they're very low value. So to them, what it is is that because they got money, they get a bunch of gold diggers and fucking you know goofy ass chicks who will be around them and sort of game them up. Because this is basically what the girl is doing. The girl, see, they think they fucking the girls. The girls are actually fucking them. You understand what I'm saying? So what that what that means yeah. is is that the girl will probably give the dude some pussy here or there, right? But what but what he had to pay in money and, and resources to get it doesn't equal out. You understand? So what happens is you got all this money and the chick, she's like, oh, you know, let's go here and let's take me here. And you buying her shit. You fucking popping bottles trying to get her get with her. You, you, you taking her out to all these different places and shit. And all she's giving you is some pussy. You feel what I'm saying? So now you right. shelled out all this money, all this time, and all she did was open her legs. You understand? So she got way more out of the deal than you got. You understand? You're, you're, yeah. You have an unbalanced relationship with this chick. Right. You see what I'm saying? Because you... Right, right. right you know what I mean? So it's, it's crazy. It's crazy yeah, how that happens. Know, I, um, I want to see, see one last thing, man. Mm-hmm. This, um, this is relating to the females and shit. You know how you... You know how you're talking to a chick, right? Mm. And pretty much put it on front street, what you're trying to make happen. Mm. And she give her a little disclaimer, like, well, like, if that's what you're trying to do, uh, like, you can just go in. Like, I'm not trying to deal with that. You know, mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. Right. So I had I had one chick that I got off the um, that I got offline, right? And I was thinking about what you were saying, because I take, that, I take all that shit into consideration, mm. right? But I'm dealing with women. So... I was thinking about what you saying, like, all right, cool. Just hit me back whenever you feel like trying to make this happen. Mm. Just give me a call, you know what I mean? Mm. But I was like, I was, I was on the verge of doing that, and I was like, hold on, let me, let me try to do something real quick. So instead of giving her that message, I was like, so you, so you, um, this is, this is was within one of your other videos, and you were saying that you can pretty much inspire her to do something else mm-hmm. based off what she's saying. So I was like, so you one of those, so I was like, so you got respect for yourself. Mm-hmm. And then she sent me, she sent me another message like, yeah, like, you know, talking a whole bunch of shit. Like, yeah, I'm just trying to get my money and I ain't really with the games and all right. that. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I sent the message back like, yeah, look, like you got potential for real, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But when I date people, I like to move fast. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I mean? Like, if you're trying to fuck with me, we ain't going to be taking this slow. Like, right. Fast and, this. and then she sent me another message like, well, uh, she sent me another message like, um, shit. When she uh, responded, she was like, okay, well, that's cool. I like them. I, 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 I'll take it fast. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. she was really, she was really down with it. So then after that, I was like, come through. She came through and I smashed. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. You see what I'm saying? Because you you let her know you let her know what it is. You like listen. This is what I'm trying to do. This is what I like to do. So right. And 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 then, and then she she fucking complied because and see that's the thing like. When you, when you when you're when you're the type of dude who's gonna let a chick know what it is from what you trying to do, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. A lot of times, just off of that, just her seeing that you're the type of guy who's like, look, this is what I'm about, and you either with it or you're not. You feel what I'm saying? Then it's like they follow. They're like, okay, cool. He, you know what I'm saying? It's like they're compelled to fucking follow you. You see what I mean? And that's why she was like, all right, so let's make it happen. You know what I mean? So that's that's the yep. thing. That's the thing. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's up, yeah, man. Bro. Yeah, man. Nice talking to you, bro. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, man. You Appreciate it. Thing. I'm definitely going to look into getting that 60 second and then uh, two two girls a day, man. That's definitely. what's up, bro. Appreciate it, man. Right, bro, I'm going to holler at you. All right. Yeah, man. The dude is on point. So you got to do it with these chicks, man. Let them know what you're trying to do, man. Crazy. Let me see what, who else this is. Yo, what's going on? Hey, what's Carl? Yo, what's going on, family? What's poppin'? Who's this? It's Russ from Jersey. I ain't called you in a long time. That's what's bu- so. That's what's up, man. Are, are you on the Bad Boy membership, though? Uh, unfortunately, no, I'm not. Oh, you gotta get on it, bro. You yeah, gotta get on that, bro. <laughs> so, yeah, what's know, what's, know, what's good, good, though? What's good? No, um, nothing, man. You know, I was writing the comments earlier about the topic. I know you talk about the topic a million times. You gonna talk about it forever, then never. Mm. I always do too about you know about um the whole uh, thing about having the cash and all that. But I mean, me myself personally, mm. you know, um me, I've been homeless like four times already. Oh damn! So I know I know how it feels to be broke, homeless, Ooh. depressed, stressed out, all that shit. You mm. feel me? So I know how it is not to have none. Now my experience is like when I was homeless, I was able to still you know get ass every now and then, but because mm. I didn't have no money. I couldn't go out to the bar or club. I couldn't really do shit. Mm. You feel me? And because I didn't have my shit, I had bitches turn me down because I had no money. Mm. You know, as a man, I can't get mad at that because if I was a woman, I don't want no broke ass nigga neither. Mm. I don't want to fuck with a broke bitch, and I'm a man. Mm. You dig what I'm saying? So I can't get mad at females for not want to fuck with me for not having no money. Mm. I'm like, okay, cool. Shit, I respect that. I ain't mad at you. I don't want to fuck with me neither if I had no money. Because mm. when I was broke, family and friends didn't want to fuck with me. You know how that go? You broke. Nobody want to be. Nobody want to deal with your ass. Right. That's just reality. You feel me? But um, like, but most of the women I done fuck with, I met them on straight from me having money. Like my first girlfriend, I met at the mall. Mm. You know, I was shopping, and she had. You know, I had money. I was about the money, but you know, I had a game at the time. But we had that money. I was able to mall and shit. So. My, she lives in um, South Jersey. Mm. I'm over here. I'm close, I'm close to New York City. She over there like way, way fucking, I don't know, somewhere out from South Jersey. It took me like a train to two bus to get there. Right. So, and remember back then it was no Uber or Lyft. It was a straight cab. $35 for a ride for the trade to the house. Right, so right. I take money to get there. Mm-hmm. My second girl lives in the Bronx. It wasn't that far from the Bronx, but I still had to use money to get there. Mm. So me, I met girls when I was in New York on the train. I met girls from the club bar. So every girl I fuck with, I had money to meet them. Mm. Like I said, when I was home, I still bag bitches every now and then, but because I was upset, depressed, Grandma for died, I got shot up, but not shot up, but I got shot at, mm. and I almost got locked up, so I was going through a lot of depression and shit like that, so they kind of fucked my game up. Right. But I was still able to get women every once in a blue moon, but I couldn't go nowhere because my money was, it wasn't was really on point, so I couldn't really go so far. Mm. You feel me? So, I mean, I want to get your opinion on that, though. Mm. Well, that's the thing. The thing is, see, when you're using money, money should be used for its, you know, practical purposes. Like, of course, if you need to travel, you got to go, you know what I'm saying? You're going to need some money to probably travel to take cabs, take buses, whatever, or even if you have a car, put gas in your car and all this other stuff. If you want to eat, you know what I'm saying? You need to get, you know, get money to to eat, do what you got to do. What I'm talking about when it comes to women, though, is that money isn't required, though, to actually... Be with a woman, and well, I would say like if you're gonna be long term, it's going it's gonna come into to play. But f- for you to hook up with a chick, have casual sex, and hang out with chicks from time to time, you don't necessarily need any money for that. You understand what I'm saying? Because there's ways right. around it. So, for example, back in the day when I was broke as fuck, you know what I'm saying? What I would do is is that you know, like I had my own apartment, but it was like 
after I paid rent and, and shit, I was like, I had no fucking money, right? So I would just tell chicks, come straight to the crib. You feel what I'm saying? Or I would deal with girls who were in my neighborhood. So I would just walk four blocks down and I'm at the girl's house. You feel what I'm saying? Or, you know, or she would invite me out someplace and spend money on me. So you see what I mean? Like there's different ways to do this shit. So, you know, but the thing is, if you have money, you know, you can do other things that's going to be, um, you understand what I'm saying? That you might like to do. You might say, hey, I'm going to take this girl out to this spot and we're going to do this and do that. And you're going to need money for that. But what I'm saying right. overall is I'm just talking about the actual raw, gritty attraction for a woman to want to fuck with you and deal with you, period. You do not need money at all. This is what I'm trying to tell exactly. these guys. Exactly. You know what I mean? Right, because I, right, I already know. Because I've been listening to you for like five years. Mm-hmm. And I, I know niggas when that looks money status is bullshit. They full of shit. <laughs> but I know for a fact, I never use money to attract females. Mm-hmm. But... Like I said, I I know I always look good. I got I had game, mm. but you know, like I mean, even me, like on some real shit. Like I know I know some younger cats who didn't have no game, mm. and like my older cousin, you know, um, he you know he one of them dudes who just a real player, mm. and you know every player I know had money. Mm. Now they wasn't rich. They had a job, but they were hustling. They had some type of financials to go out club, bar, travel to New York, go right. to Philly, Connecticut. But he's like, look. You know, he read, he read, he read, he read he got a, my, the young cast. He said, listen, I know you ain't got a lot of game. We're going to help you. So we're going to get, you know, we can, I think he had a job. He graduated high school. He got, a, he got some money from his family, whatever. Mm. So he went to the mall, got him some clothes, got him some motherfucking, you know, sneakers, brand new, everything. Mm. Went out to the ball club. Remember, God had no game. He was shy as shit. Right. But because he had money to buy some fly-ass clothes. He had bitches looking at him. Mm. Now, reject, he got women looking at him. Well, okay, this nigga got the line, whatever. But he's but he put him he gave put him on some game, so him having money and nice clothes, he he, he felt better he felt good because mm. he had some players to kind of give him some little bit of you know push to mm. motivate him right so that money did help overall you mm. feel me right no and that's what I'm saying the thing is that can help if that is the perspective you're coming at where you feel you need that in order to feel good you understand what I'm saying because what you were saying was he got some clothes he got this and he got that. Which made him feel better about himself, right? Right, right. So, so that's what I'm saying is that the feeling better about yourself, right, always comes from you. It's not necessarily the outside things. The outside things can inspire someone to feel better about themselves, but you don't need the outside things to feel better about yourself. In fact, the you getting outside situations or things to feel better about yourself in the long run is unhealthy because what you're doing is you're conditioning your mind to say, I need these things to feel good about myself. So when you don't have those things, let's say he doesn't have the nice clothes or he can't afford, let's say he he runs on hard times. He can't afford to buy the nice clothes or go to to fancy places or chill at these spots. Then automatically he has to feel bad about himself. Not, not that he might, not that it may happen. He automatically will feel better, will feel bad about himself. And that's the danger of, trying to just use things outside of yourself to feel good about you. So this is why I try to teach guys, listen, you have to feel good about you no matter what's happening. No matter if you have a million dollars in your bank account or one dollar in your bank account, you got to still feel good about you regardless. Because what's going to happen is things are going to fluctuate. Life is going to take you in different directions. You see what uh-huh. I mean? And so, if you're not... I've been, like, like I said, I've been home four fucking times. Right, that's what I'm saying. Work. You see what I mean? So, that's what you I'm know, saying. Exactly. But, see, the thing I want to add is that I'm, I'm I'm sure all men go through this, but mm. as far as us black men, we come from the gut. We come from poverty. Mm. So, because we used to being broke, homeless, hustling, struggling, I know niggas who risk their life for you to get money. I know niggas who are never coming home because they try to survive and get money. I know mm. niggas who are there right now trying to get money. Mm. Most of us black men come from the hood. We have to go out there and do what we don't want to do to get what we got to get. And a lot of guys have the same time come to pussy and money. I mean, we're women and pussy that have a poverty mentality. Because mm, we're right. not getting shit like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now that's facts. That's facts. You you absolutely right. And, and and see, and that's the thing. That's the see, and that's the thing. I want I want guys to understand that you want to you want to get out of that poverty mentality. You see what I'm saying? In in all areas, because. When you, when you start thinking in the way of, and, and I talked about this before, what you do is go, always going to 
uh, give you feedback about how you view yourself. It's going to be a subconscious thing. So anytime you're doing a certain specific thing, what it's going to do is going to tell you things about you. So if you're saying, if, you, if a person's like, damn, well, I got I to gotta get a bunch of money to get a girl, right? It's basically telling yourself you can't get girls without money. You see what I mean? And so what it does is to your self-esteem, it's saying that you are not enough. You have to have money to get the girl. You see what I'm saying? Right. So your your natural masculine essence is not enough or you don't have a natural masculine essence, which is why you need to compensate with other things. You see what I mean? And so that's that's the that's where I want to get guys out of that thought process and then, and then have guys understand, yo, you got to see that you're valuable with or without the money, with or without the car, with or without, you know, the the, the great job. Because all of those things can change. What's going to remain right. is you. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So right, that's, right. that's and, the thing. And, and, and uh, real quick, I want to use this analogy. I want to know your opinion on it. Mm. And and I, and uh, I was actually me and my cousin spoke about this about a month ago. Um, you know, it was like, what everyone, everything needs to have something to move forward, like a car. Mm. You know, if you have a car and it has a full tank of gas, which is good, that car can go all over the place. Mm. But without that key, that car not going to move nowhere. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and I look at my life and my experience and most niggas in my hood, I was that car with gas. Mm. The money was the key to help me move forward. Without that money, mm. I couldn't do nothing. Without that key, that car not going nowhere. Mm. That's how I look at it. Mm. You feel me? Right, right. What's your take on that? Right, and, and and that's the thing, and and, and I, I totally agree. And it's, but but see, the perspective that I I think is the most beneficial is that same type of thought process, but think you have to think of it as without the mindset. You see what I'm saying? You're not gonna go anywhere. You see what I mean? So the car, the car, and the uh, I mean the money and the gas and all that other stuff for the things, right? Those things are, let's say, for example, you say, well, I need the money to get from this place. Without that, I can't really get there, right? right? Your mind is the most important thing because your mind is the thing that can get you the money, that can get you the car, that can get, you see what I mean? So so what happens is, is that let's say you feel good or a person feels good about having a lot of money or you feel good now that you got a car and all this other shit, right? If you lose those things, right? What's going to happen is, is you're going to feel upset and pissed off. Now, if you understand that your your mind is the thing that is able to get you the money in the car, when you lose the money in the car, you're like, it don't matter. But why? Because my mind can help me get more money and more cars. You feel what I'm saying? That's that's what I, that's what I'm trying to get at. And it's, and so. Dudes are looking on the surface level of saying, well, I got this and I got that, therefore I can get women. It's like, well, how about you understand that you can get women because of your men your mindset? Your mind state is the thing that is going to make you the most attractive dude, which is going to propel you to get women in general. So even if I don't have the material things, right, you can't take my mindset from me. You can't take my mind state from me. You can't that that shit is always gonna be there if I'm the type of person who uh, values myself and understands confidence and understands, uh, you know, how valuable I am to the equation of this game. You see what I mean? Right. And so that's that's really the thing is that, you know, dudes are looking on the surface level, but they're not looking at the root the root of the situation. You see what I mean? So so what happens is like this: if you have a toothache, right, you might need a root canal. You feel what I'm saying? Oh God, you don't want, bro, you don't want that, bro. Right, bro. exactly. So, so the thing is, that. it's the it's the root of the situation. What most guys that do, they'll keep brushing their teeth and thinking, well, maybe I gotta brush more. I gotta brush more, uh, you know, harder, or I gotta just, you know, put more amount. No, you need a root canal. So the same thing happens no. in, in in these situations where guys are like, well, I need more money. I need more status. I need to look better. That, you, that's not the issue. The issue is the root of the situation is your mind. That needs exactly. fixing. You feel what I'm saying? And that's, yeah. and that's the thing. That's why dudes don't get nowhere. They get they run around in a circle and they get all the money they think they need. They get the status. They get all this shit. Then they're really, they, they wondering, why am I still not getting the girls? And it's because right. their mindset. You see what I'm saying? Right. So, right. You know. um, right. I mean, I don't, don't want to take too long, but I got to ask you one more quick yeah, question. Yeah, go ahead. Now, I know you talk about online dating, mm. but I never heard talk about how to get girls on Facebook. Now, me personally, mm. I don't really waste my time. I mean, I do online dating still, but 
Mm-hmm. I think Facebook is better, but I'm having the same fucking trouble. Mm-hmm. So, like, when you holler at girls on Facebook, like, this is the same way, do the same method as, like, online or how you do that? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, well, the thing is with Facebook, since it's not a dating site, you understand? They're, you know, mm-hmm. women aren't generally thinking too much directly about dating um, right. in those situations. So, and, and, and I talked about this actually on, on, I have a bad boy membership program called how to get girls on social media. So this is why I tell you guys to go into bad boy membership, but I'll give you a little thing here is that, um, with Facebook, Facebook is more about like, you know, connecting with p- people, you know, a lot of times. So some, like, unless you're, unless you're a public figure, if you're not a public figure, you just really have people, you know, on your Facebook, like your family and friends or whatever. So a lot of times when, when it comes to women, Women are usually not going to interact with a guy uh, who they don't know, who's just inboxing them random shit. They're like, who the fuck is this guy? I don't know this guy. Like, why is he? You understand? Um, But what happens is, is for example, if you're on Facebook and you see a girl's page, you might inbox her about something on her page, ask her a question about something on her page. So it's a lot, it's a lot more indirect in that situation. So you say, hey, what's going on? You know, I saw that you wrote this this thing on your on your status. I was wondering, blah, 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 blah. So you got to start talking about that. Then you can get into regular conversation. Be like, yo, so, you know, where you from? And, blah, you know, whatever. So, oh, so okay. you, you're right. Yeah, so you sort of like, right. I, I shit like an online thing. Let me tell you what I, this is what I do. Really. Right. I go through my friends, friends. You know, you can see like friends or your friends mm-hmm. have whatever. Who live in my right. neighborhood. Mm-hmm. So what I do, I add the girl. You know, I add, I add the chick, mm-hmm. you know. And I hit up, I said, hey, what's going on? How you mm. doing? She hit me back. I said, listen, mm. I noticed you were close by. We had friends in pop. We had friends that come. I think you're real cute. Like, what's up? I'm trying mm. to see you. I mean, I've met maybe a handful of girls doing that. Most mm. girls, they either be on mm. some bullshit. I don't get no response. So, mm. like I said, I, I mean, now, you're, now, you said on a date and you said get direct to the point. Mm. Facebook is it? Do you do the same thing on Facebook? But you said don't do it on Facebook. No, Facebook, you can you you get direct once you and her have are starting the conversation or are going back and forth with the conversation. So, so what I mean is on Facebook, you know, you don't want to, um, you don't want to like just directly go on some random chicks profile that you never talked to ever and be like, Hey, what's up? We should get together and hang out, whatever you understand? Because she's like, who the fuck is this guy? Once you, right. So, 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 so once you, the thing is the best way to do it, is to get into a conversation with her first. Once you start that conversation, be like, hey, listen, what are you up to this week? We should get, you know, you seem, you know, I like talking to you. You seem cool. Let's get together and get a drink. You see what I'm saying? And so that's that's the thing where it's it's a little bit different than doing on a dating site because the dating site, the context is we're both here to find dates. Facebook is like just everything. So it's like if she don't really necessarily know you, it's more so being able to, you know, introduce yourself in that way to where she's like, okay, you know, we, you start talking and then you'd be like, Hey, let's make some happen. Now you don't got to talk to her for like a long time. It could be as easy as let's say you, you know, you see a girl's profile and you say, Hey, um, I see your friends with so-and-so you understand? Where do you know her from? You feel what I mean? And then you should be like, Oh, you know, uh, me and her was cool back in the day. Like, yeah, you know, I know her from blah, 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 blah. And then you'd be like, so, you know, what are you, what are you doing? What are you up to? What do you get into? Blah, blah, blah. And then, so now you're talking to her. Then once you see her going back and forth, then you say, hey, listen, you seem real cool to talk to. Like, you know what I'm saying? What you up to next week? We should get together and get a drink. And that's it. You see what I mean? So you just sort of slowly get into that okay. situation. You see what I mean? Uh, yeah, I think that's why I fucked up. That. I'm, I'm just going straight to the point. I'm trying to, yo, what's up tonight? Like, huh? Excuse me? Right, right. right. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so that, that'll work a little bit better on like, the, like Tinder or the online dating sites. But, um. Right. Bro, I got blocked for that shit too on Tinder, bro. Right, right. So you know. But that, yeah, but that's different. Now I go hold you, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and tune in the show. I'm gonna at the next time, bro. Alright, bro. I'm out with you, man. Alright, All right, peace. Yeah, man. So what is going on, people? I'm gonna be here for another maybe like 20 minutes. You know. Yeah, man. So, you said so many pessimist men in the chat. I see why so many dudes have trouble dating. They're paranoid that Drake's going to randomly pop up and steal their girl. <laughs> Real talk, Johnny Cat. That, that, Johnny Gat, that's, that's... Yo, there's so many guys who are, who are, who are like, real 
unrealistic with this shit. They be talking, they be, they be talking about a whole bunch of shit that uh, is most likely not gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? It's it's crazy. Like dudes be scared. They be like, yo, I don't want to approach a girl because, you know, what if I I I you know she she says it's sexual harassment and I'm like, man, bro, just relax. Yo, what's going on? Hey man, what's going on? It's what? Mike from Indiana. What's going on, Mike? Mike, are you a bad boy member? No, I'm not. Right, we got to get you on there, Mike. But what's good, bro? <clears throat> okay, so I've been going out a lot more again. Mm -hmm. You know, work, working my social muscles and stuff, like talking to women. Mm -hmm. See, I, I want to get to a point where I, I do have a rotation of women, mm -hmm. and I've been getting really, you know, better at building sexual tension and kind of like flirting. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like finessing the situation to where I want it to lead to. Uh -huh. And if they're not, you know, it, I mean, it depends on the cooperation, but if it's not there, mm. usually I just like carry on. And what's really funny, like out at these bars and clubs and restaurants, is that like I'll make, I'll make the contact and then I'll sort of finesse around the room, you know, move around the room. Mm. And oftentimes, if it's not what I want, they can kind of feel that. And then they're like, well, this guy doesn't really need me. Mm. And they end up, you know, coming and talking to me again. Mm. So it's, it's like they kind of chase it a right. little bit. Mm. But, but anyway, I'll be getting kind of better at that. And I have a date set up for tomorrow mm. as well as Sunday, right? Mm. So, so this is kind of my question is whenever I'm out here on these dates, so 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 since I've been getting better at the sexual tension, you know, flirting. Mm. So 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 say that they're kind of reciprocating that, mm. but I go in, you know, to start kissing and, and touching a little bit more, you know, get a little, a little more physical. Mm. And say they're not really reciprocating that, right? Mm. What would be like a good way to because. I find it sort of awkward if you're in the, if you're like in the middle of a date, mm. and she's not reciprocating, but she still wants you know the attention, and she still wants you to basically hang around, mm -hmm. but it doesn't look like it's going to lead to sex. Right? You know what I'm saying? So, mm. so what would be a good way to maybe walk away from the situation? Like, would you stay there and finish the date, mm. and then like not call her back or whatever, mm. or? How would you go about like ending that situation? Because, because if if it's not something that it's going to lead to sex, then you know if that's something that I want, which it is, mm. I don't want to continue this nonsense. Right, right. Well, that's the thing. You just tell her like, hey, listen, you know, um, I don't think this is going to work, <laughs> and then call it a day. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to let like, gotta, like 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 right then and there. Yeah, right then and there. Be like, listen, you know, I don't think this is going to work right here because you know. This, 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 I'm not feeling a vibe right here. You understand? And, and then just call it a day. Like, you, you're not obligated to spend any time with this chick at all. You feel what I'm saying? So you can end the date at any time, call it a day, walk away, you understand? If, you know, and, and, and sometimes what will happen is she'll say, she might say, like, oh, but what, what, what happened? What's wrong or whatever, right? Right, right. And then, then that's when you could let her know, be like, listen, you know, I'm a real sexual person. I'm not really feeling the sexual vibe between me and you. Um, you seem kind of either nervous or you're not in interested. So I'm going to go. You feel what I'm saying? And, 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 and what you can do is if you want to still like fuck with her later on or you want anything to happen, be like, listen, if you know, if you want to make something happen, you got my number, holler at me. But otherwise, I'm out. You feel what I'm saying? And then you just keep that shit pushing. Yeah, that's it. So, That's so it. basically, just like kind of leave it open ended. Right, right, right. And 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 the thing is, don't 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 you know do it with a smile on your face. Like just be real cool, real calm. It ain't nothing. It ain't no thing. I'm just letting you know, I got it. I got a bounce. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you right. know what I mean? Because 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 sometimes they'll because that was my only other kind of fear or or basically I was questioning that. Sometimes they'll like make a big deal out of it, like right then and there, and, mm. and, and be like, well, 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 what's what's up? Well, uh, you know, do you? Mm. You only want this, and mm. uh, oh, oh, you know, I, I see what you're, what you were doing. Mm. You know, you're, you're only trying to use me for sex and all this other nonsense. Mm -hmm. 
you know, sometimes they'll pull that card. Right. And then, and then, and tell them and tell them whatever it is, tell them either you say, well, yeah, I actually do want to have sex with you. I just came out to see if you were cool and I wanted to have sex with you tonight. So if we ain't doing that, I'm a, I'm a bounce. Or you could say, you know, yeah, I, you know, I wanted to have sex with you. So if, since it ain't happening, I'm out. You know what I mean, like that's all you got to do. It ain't, it ain't, again, you don't, you don't right. owe them nothing. You feel what I'm saying? You owe them zero. You feel what I mean? That's it. Like, don't think you gotta sit there and, 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 you know, hang out with her more and all this other stuff. If you see her and you, you, you're attracted to her and, and you're trying to make something happen. Like, I, I remember I was on a date with this chick and she said, she was like, oh, um, she was like, I'm, you know, I don't, I don't kiss or, or, or have sex on a first date, right? So I told her, I said, well, um, you know, that sucks because, you know, I don't see women for a second date who I didn't kiss on the first date. You know what I'm saying? So, so I'm like, we're just, <laughs> this shit ain't just, this shit ain't gonna pop off. You feel what I mean? Yeah. And that's that. You feel what I'm saying? So it, it ain't, you know, it ain't no thing. You just move on to the next chick. You see what I'm saying? Because the girls who want to fuck with you, the girls who want to make something happen, they're going to make it happen. You feel what I'm saying? That's it. It ain't, it ain't no thing. They're going to make this shit happen. They're going to be excited to make it happen. They're going to want to make it happen. So, you know, if, if a girl's being all standoffish, she's trying to, she's order, you know, sort of like all over the place, you know, we, we good. We could we keep that shit pushing. You see what I'm saying? That's it. Yeah, right. I mean, I, and, and, and me, you know, along with uh, probably a lot of other guys, kind of sh- struggle with that. Because in, su- in certain situations, if you really like the girl especially, mm-hmm. it's like you almost feel obligated to, uh, I mean, not like bend to her will, but just kind of like out of common courtesy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. To just kind of like stay in the situation. Mm-hmm. But if it's not what you're getting out of it, then there's just no reason to. Right. And, and, and exactly. And see, this is the thing. I mean, this is the way I look at the shit. I I don't I can't like a woman if she's not doing what I wanted to do. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't care how cute she is, I don't care how fat her ass is, if she's not complying and cooperating with what I'm trying to do, I'm done. Because it like it's like you're useless to me. You see what I'm saying? So so why would I why would I need to have you around or spend any more time with you or do anything with you? If you are not engaging in the way where, you know, you need to be, you know, where it, it needs to be um, the, in the direction I'm taking it. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm looking for if she's following my lead, if she's cooperating with me, if she's doing all the other shit. So then it's like, okay, well, I like you now because you're actually doing the things that I require of you. You see what I'm saying? So the, the problem is dudes just be liking chicks just to like them because they look good. It's like, no. What are you doing to make it to the point where I care? You understand what I'm saying? Like, you see what I mean? It's, it's like an audition. If I'm auditioning people for a movie and you come into the to the room, you got to read the lines. You got to do the thing. And then I'll be like, oh, yeah, I like you. I don't like you. I don't know if I like you yet. You just got here. You ain't do shit. You haven't, you haven't um, passed the audition. So I can't tell. I can't say I like you. You feel what I mean? So, so if she's not doing the right things in audition, she's not getting a call back. She's not, we're, we're good. So you got to look at it that way. You got to look at it as, is she doing the things that I need her to do in this situation for this to go to the next level? If not, I don't need to sit there and, and, and go, you know, keep the date going and no, we're done. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Oh man, I I appreciate it. Uh, one last thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, is that the girl that I'm going out with tomorrow mm. evening, we actually just met last night mm. at a bar. Mm. You know, like Fat Tuesday going on, right? Mm. And, you know, I was I was sitting there. I was actually, I approached, because she was with a friend, and, you know, I actually was hitting on her friend, and then I went up there and straight up just direct approach mm. and told her that she was sexy as hell and, she reminded me of one of my other friends that, that I used to see. Mm-hmm. And, and she said, no, nah, I got a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And then I, I, I kind of played with it a little bit longer. And then I was like, nah. But, but she said, well, I, well, my friend's here. Mm-hmm. And she was really cute as well. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, I, I kind of jumped over to her. And, and then we got, we got you know, kind of hanging out, talking. 
I found that she was kind of trying to take the lead, and mm-hmm. then I was like, it was kind of a push pull situation where I would let it sort of happen because she was trying to isolate us mm-hmm. both. And I was like, well, okay, this is going to work out. If, mm-hmm. if you're if you're doing this, I also want this. Right. But I kind of felt weird going along with that. Mm-hmm. But actually, what ended up happening was I, I met up with some other friends later on the night and I broke contact with her. Well, she came back and she sort of just gave me an end. You know, she, 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 she gave me the go ahead because before she left, she said here, um, like she basically just handed me her phone and said, put your number in here. And, right. and she said, the ball's in your court now. And, mm. I, and I won't forget. That's exactly what she said. She said, well, the ball's in your court now. Mm. Which then I, I set up the date immediately, and I, I said, well, here, uh, pull out your calendar, and we're going to go out tomorrow. You know, what are you doing on Thursday? Mm. And then that's that's how it all happened. Mm. But I found it interesting that, like, I, I don't really know. Uh, maybe I shouldn't read too much into that. But mm. what, what do you think she meant by that? Meant by what? The ball's in your court. Well, she's just saying that the ball's in your court, meaning she wants you to, to, to holler at her. You feel what I'm saying? She's basically saying, I want you to take the lead and, and make something happen. You feel what I mean? That's all that means. Okay, yeah. See, and, and that's why I thought I just, it was it was kind of weird because I've, I've only had that happen maybe like one other time. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah, that's all that means. It's like, you know, the chick the chick is feeling you, but she, she wants, you know, she basically wants you to really holler at her. That's all that, that's really saying. You see what I mean? But but also, too, the, the oh, thing okay. is, is that the reason why she's saying the ball's in your court also is because she was first sort of leading the situation. You see what I'm saying? Which which allowed her to even be able to say that. You see what I mean? Because yeah. the ball, if the ball, the, the, the fact that she needs to say it means that the ball wasn't in your court in the first place. You see what I'm exactly. saying? That's, that's what I'm exactly. Saying. You know what I mean? So and that's, 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 that's the reason why she bad. said it. Because she's like... Basically, she's saying, I'm tired of leading this situation. You do, you lead, okay? Nigga, like, you do the thing. You feel what I mean? That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I guess I'll just have to see what's going on here, but yeah, I, I just, find it you know, weird that if, that, that if she was kind of leading the situation that she would return back to, maybe she's trying to manipulate me. Wait, and so, and so wait, what are, y'all, what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing today? Or t- you supposed to see it today? No. Or Tomorrow. We're going out tomorrow. And what are y'all supposed to? What y'all doing? We're, we're going out for like a couple drinks at a mm. restaurant. Okay. And what are you trying to make? You and, trying and to smash? Not, what's up? So you trying to smash tomorrow? Oh, for sure. Yeah. All right. Well, you see, you could you could have just so, smashed so, throughout the date. You could have just told her, "Hey, listen, come back to my place tonight," or to, you know what I'm saying. But you already you already you already set up the date. So so do the date, and uh and uh you okay. know and make out. But but next time, if you meet a girl out at a bar and you just trying to smash either try to smash it at night or y'all exchange information and you 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 set it up to where y'all could just hook up so you don't so you don't necessarily have to go on no date you see what i'm saying because if you're just trying to smash you don't need to go on dates you know what i'm saying right i mean i'm, I'm trying to smash but at the same time mm-hmm. i do desire like a you know a, a consistent situation mm-hmm. you know kind of like a friends with benefits situation okay okay all right so yeah so see what's up with her so you know Chill with her, see what's popping, and then, and let me know. You know, call me back on the next show and let me know what happened. Will do, man. All right, bro. Appreciate the info. All right, I'll let you. Peace. Later. Later. All right. That's what's up. So what's popping? Who we got in the chat room? Oh, we got Militant Kane in the chat room. <laughs> Militant Kane, you need to call up, man. Yo, what's popping? Who's this? What's up, man? It's Jules from um, Louisiana, man. Nice What's going on, friends, brother? Friends What's popping? Are, are you on the Bad Boy membership? Not, not yet. Y'all motherfuckers got to get it together. I'm telling you. But what's going on with you, man? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. You want to give me a little backstory, real quick? All right, real quick. Go ahead. All right. All right. Well, I'm from Louisiana. I'm 21. Mm-hmm. I just started going out to clubs. Mm-hmm. Um, I started off all kind of sheltered from my parents, so I never really um, got to do much. Uh-huh. I just started driving when I turned 20. So I just started with the game. I had started a sell job in October. And that's um when I got the sell job, that's when I started going out to the club. So I've been successful with club with sales. But I wanted to take the sales 
and transaction that to how I'm doing with women mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And I've been going out every Saturday, and it used to be rough. And just recently, this month, I made some changes, like how I approach and like my appearance, and I've been getting a lot of close calls. Mm -hmm. Especially the last two weeks, I'm just trying to figure out whenever I go out, I'm partying from like 10 to 6 in the morning. I'm just trying to maintain my mind. Mm -hmm. Just how can you maintain your mindset? Because like, if you got like an opportunity right in front of you, it's 5 o'clock in the morning and you're just out of, I don't know. And so what, and so what, but what happens though? What, what happens when you are talking to these girls and it's four or five in the morning? Like what you be talking about? Well, basically, basically most of the dancing, most of the chicks I get up is off of dancing in there. They're on me and then I, I take them to the, um, a different room inside the club and mm -hmm. then we talk and go on from there. And I'm working on, I'm better at that than doing a code approach which i'm mm. working on now and what and what do you and what do you talk to and what do you talk to these women about when you pull them to the side what you be talking about oh wait the first thing is like uh that's me name josh uh, where are you from mm. oh they're not from here oh you have a hotel right there it's, it's kind of like that kind of like mm. where are you from i try not to dig into too much of their personal stuff because i'm trying to I'm trying to fuck that night. <laughs> and, and do you tell him you're trying to fuck that night? Huh? huh? Um, <laughs> most of them, yeah. Most so you, of them, yeah. So you, so, you, so you tell him you're trying to fuck that night? Huh? Yeah. You, ain't, you ain't telling him. You ain't saying shit. What, you, what, what do you tell him, though? You, what, you, do you say, listen, will you, you know, how long are you going to be in town? I'm trying to fuck tonight. Do you tell him that? Well, that's what I'm calling you about. I'm trying to do a better job selling the deal. See, because you ain't, you ain't saying that, shit. It, it, it's too pretty because it's not really smooth. You ain't, that's what I'm saying. I know you ain't saying shit. So listen, bro. I, when, yep. when, when you pull these girls to the side, man, you understand what I'm saying? The first thing I want you yeah. to do is look them in the eye and say, yo, stick your tongue in my mouth. Okay, just tell them Damn. that. Damn. Yes. All right. All right. Just tell them that. As soon as you pull it, you, fin you, you on the dance floor with them. You pull him to the side, you grab her, look her dead in the eye, be like, yo, stick your tongue in my, stick your tongue in my mouth right now. That's it. That's All what right, I'm saying. So I'll there. Now, now what's going to happen I'm is, in. now what's going to happen is either she going to just start kissing you or you understand what I'm saying? She going to look at you funny. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And, 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 and if she's looking at you funny, don't start acting all weird. Just look at her and be like, yo, stick your tongue in my mouth. You understand what I'm saying? And so, oh, I could do that. Right. And it, or she's going to walk away from you. You feel what I'm saying? So if the girl walk away from you or, or, you know what I'm saying, then you just move on to another girl. But the thing is, yeah. you got to just be more direct and bold with these chicks. You understand what I'm saying? Because if the girl, if it's four in the morning and y'all dancing and shit and the club about to go close or whatever, you know, it's, it's they already know what it is. You feel what I'm saying? So if they really try to make it happen, they're going to make it happen. The reason why I tell you to tell the girl to stick her tongue in your mouth or to kiss you or whatever it is, is because if she does it, that's showing sexual interest. If she kisses you... And that saves your time. That's right, time exactly. So now, so now that she kisses you, next thing you say is, yo, let's get out of here. Let's go back to my spot. Let's go up to your hotel, whatever it is. And then that's it. That's all you got to do. You just have to make the move. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah, basically, basically, the past three Saturdays, I've had two chicks that were in the process of going to the hotel and they didn't really finish. Like, um, I had this one chick two weeks ago. Mm. She like, she makes a shit ton of money. Mm. I just met her cause she was just, I had her grinding on me and then she took, she took me in her car to another club mm. and then the shit kind of died off cause she said later on through a text message, I didn't make the move. Uh, so, like, <laughs> so, so she told you and you didn't like, make the move. Hmm? So she's the one who told you Yo, you didn't make no moves, so that's why she didn't pop off. She the one that told you. No, well, basically, basically a day after, a day after, I had told her I should have done this, mm -hmm. and she was like, "I'm wondering why you didn't do that." Exactly. And I was See, like, I the vibe, the vibe went away when we went to a different club, and basically, whenever she comes back in town, because she's making like two fifty k, man, mm -hmm. this shit is ridiculous. See, you got it, like, bro. This, and this goes for any of you guys out there. You have to start. 
making the move, bro. Push because remember, most women are passive or passive aggressive. So yeah. they're waiting they for you to have, do it. They take that as rejection if you don't make the move and then they Exactly. Feel like my like my dude moving in silence in the chest says he says, Stop being a scary ass nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Make the move. You feel me? Yeah. All right. I forgot another <laughs> story. I forgot another story. The week before that, mm-hmm. I had this chick that she took me to the bathroom and she took a piss in front of me and had me took the t shirt over my face and started talking about some other shit. But that's not Wait, wait, hold on, wait, 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 wait. So you had a chick pull you into the bathroom and 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 take a piss in front of you? Yeah. So you were in That's that little booth, started. you were in that little bathroom stall with her while she's peeing? Yeah, and it's the same club. I'm telling you every every Saturday in this damn club you get it closer and closer. Nigga, and you ain't and you ain't nigga, and you ain't take your dick out or nothing? And nothing? Well, it's not over. It's not over. So we went out and then I was like no, what we should probably I should probably go back in and whip my dick out. Okay, I saw so I tell she's about to she's about to talk to this other chick. I'm like, hey, let's go back in the bathroom. She's like, okay. But she asked really brings this other chick in in with her. Mm-hmm. And so then I take it out in front of this new chick. It's me and two chicks, but the chick only we only know this chick for like a minute. Mm-hmm. I got too excited. I thought I'm about to get a threesome. <laughs> the other chick walks out. <laughs> so so wait, so the other girl walks out? Yeah, I went back, we went back in and I whipped it out in front of two chicks instead of one. Oh my watching. god, your timing is off, bro. <laughs> yeah. Listen, man, you need to be yeah, on that bad boy membership like five, yesterday, bro. Seriously, that's. Drinking shit, but it was like a beer. I wasn't really buzzed. I don't know. Wow, this dude, man, you, 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 your timing is off, bro. You gotta, you gotta be better with the timing. When that girl was in there peeing, and 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 you inside the damn place with her. She's sitting down. You yeah. stand. I'm sure you were standing right over her. You feel what I'm saying? No, no. I was taking a piss this time. This time I was taking a piss. Well, it, she told me to take a piss. I was like, okay. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. See now, because I'm thinking you're in the fucking stall with her while she's sitting down taking a piss, and you just standing there talking to her. So you were taking a piss the first time. The first time mm. she's taking the piss. Uh huh. The second time I go in to take a piss, and they're talking. And while they're talking, I'm putting the condom on. Oh then I turn goodness. around. Yeah. <laughs> Bruh. You put you got yeah. yourself in these situations and you dropping the ball. I'm just telling you. Listen, you got you got it. Yeah. You, you gotta you gotta make the moves, bruh. Uh-huh. When the first time you was in there, first time you was in there, you should have made it happen yeah. then. You feel what I'm saying? But she wasn't really pretty in the face though. But I don't know, man. This nigga. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm kinda picky. That's that's my problem. Well, not really. <laughs> he said, you, you trying to marry this girl? You trying to, what you trying to... <laughs> I didn't really want to kiss her, though. That's a fucking problem, yeah. Oh, my God. So there's one chick that I wanted to kiss that didn't kiss, and there's another chick that I would hit it, but I didn't really want to kiss her. Y'all face. niggas, man. Y'all hilarious. Dudes, dudes, and me. I had one more. This was last week. So this is three weeks consistently. Oh, my God. Um... Last week, I had this chick, I had got this, my car had caught on fire, because mm. I didn't change the oil. I ain't making this shit up, okay? So on Monday, it caught on fire, mm. then I bought a new one through my uncle. Um, it came in on a Saturday morning, I bought the car on Friday, so it gave me a, this, this rental for the night. Right. So, I took that rental, I went out clubbing at 6 in the morning, and then I'm pulling, I'm pulling out the club, this white chick asked me for a ride to her car, I'm like, what the fuck? Mm. She's not really that pretty, so I just give her a ride. I don't even make a move. I see her the next day, and she's like, hey, man, you can get something. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you remember me? Damn, like, no. I gave you that ride to your car yesterday. And she's like, man, you can ask me for anything. I'm like, what the fuck? So what? So why you ain't fuck with her? You say you wasn't feeling her? She was whack? No, well, basically, I was about to fuck her, but then she started getting on this taller nigga. Shit. But she didn't give me her number. So. Damn, bro. You go, yeah. You need yo. You need to, <laughs> def, yo, bro. You need to get on that membership. You need to work on that timing yeah. and, and start and start making these moves, bro. You feel me? But um, but yo, let me. Yeah, I, I, I take there a, like a, is that a normal situation? Where every week to just get that close. That's, that's say, right. Wait, say that again. Is that normal to, to freaking get that close every freaking week? I don't think most people get that. Yeah, well, well, that's the thing. A lot of dudes get that close and they fuck it up because they don't know how to make the moves. You feel what I'm saying? 
That's what it is. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You got to be mean, able to make I the mean, moves. You feel me? When you need to make it. You got to read the women. You got to know when they ready to make shit happen and then strike while the uh-huh. pussy's hot. That's what you got to do, bro. But yo, man, but listen. I'll get six. But listen, I got yeah. I got to take I got to take a few more calls before I get out of here, but yo, just make more of those moves when you see it there, make it happen, all right? All right. All right, bro. I'm holla. Peace. Thanks. Later. Thanks. All right, let me get one more call before I get out of here. Yo, what's popping? Who's this? Okay, I can 20, bro. What's popping, bro? What's good? <laughs> Man, I had to call in, bro. Is, is, is that motherfucker sidetracked still in the goddamn comment section? Or chat room? I don't know. Bro, I don't... Man, no, he ain't talking about if you're famous, you automatically don't get pussy. It's mm-hmm. like, no. Mm-hmm. They don't get it. No. They don't get it. My, well, my, 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 my thing is this. You remember the comedian John Candy, right? The fat white dude? Right. Okay, so you mean to tell me he was fucking the baddest bitches because he was funny and famous? Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it's like, no. Then, you know, he's going to bring up Biggie, B-I-G, you know what I'm saying? The mm-hmm. story B-I-G. And I'm like, okay, nigga, that's one sample size. Mm-hmm. Na- name me somebody else. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, that's what, like, that's what I said earlier. I said earlier there was a spot, it was a, in a situation where I was in where there was a famous rapper and the chick fucking chose me over the famous dude. You feel what I'm saying? And the famous that's dude was trying to, he was trying to get with her and he didn't get with her. You see what I'm saying? Yo, that, that fame, it really don't mean shit like niggas think it do. It mm-hmm. don't. It, it, mm-hmm. it don't. And right. The thing is, is this. Females ain't fucking you just because you're famous. Now, mm. if you're famous and good looking, mm-hmm. okay, maybe. Right, right. Okay. But, but as you stated, it also comes down to your behavior because they can think you're famous and good looking, but as soon as you open your mouth, they're like, nah, nah, I'm good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Facts. Because what happened with that chick... She, you know, she took pictures with the dude, you understand? She was like, you know what I'm saying? She's excited. It's like, oh, this is this famous guy. But what happened was... Yeah. She ended up not fucking with him, and also too, a lot of times you got they you got to understand is that sometimes what happens is is that women also get intimidated. You see what I mean? So so what happens is they're looking at it like, damn, well, he got all these other girls surrounding him. You feel what I'm saying? Or this is happening. Right. So that that also fucks up the situation too. That and I think guys always miss miss out on that on that thing because we, we're thinking in our mind, we're thinking like. With, we think very linear. Women are all over the place with their thinking. At at eight thirty, she's like, I'd fuck this guy. At eight thirty five, she's like, I don't know. At eight forty, she's like, maybe I should fuck him. At eight at eight, you know, you understand what I'm saying? That's how they Back. do. You know what I mean? Back. Back. It's crazy. And, yeah, dude, 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 think it's, it's, it's cut and dry. There's, right. There's nothing cut and dry. You could be good looking, it won't matter. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You could be famous and have money. Mm-hmm. It won't matter because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, like you're saying, a chick feeling fluctuates every fucking five minutes. Exactly, exactly. And also, too, if you think about it, why is it why is there all this Me Too shit? Because remember, the Me Too shit is really about famous dudes. You understand? Yep. Famous dudes yep. who were who were accused of sexual assault. Why would you need to sexually assault or sexually harass a woman if all you need to be is famous? You know what I'm exactly. Saying? You know what I mean? Exactly. So if you're so famous, so if fame gets you attractive women, mm. like you said, there's no need to be pulling out the dick and showing bitches and, mm-hmm. and tricking bitches to go into your hotel room. Right. You can just tell them, you know who I am, right? All right, cool. Let's go fuck. Exactly just, right. Don't look that way, man. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> they don't get it. They don't get it. Now, now if you if you famous and you know how to sort of maneuver, meaning you know how to like you know, finagle that situation, then right, right. that 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 can like help you. You feel what I'm saying? That like, can help. See, now you're talking about game. When you say finagle, now you're talking about using your fame. You know, with the game. Exactly. That's what I, yeah. and that's what dudes gotta understand. Exactly. So it's not just simply, hey, I'm famous, I'm such and such. No, you gotta have a little game to you too. Mm-hmm. Real talk. Which Real is, talk. Which is why, which is why Biggie was fucking him because he had some game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man, I'm not gonna keep you, man. I'm gonna let somebody else call in. Yeah, man. Hey, real quick, that last video you dropped about confidence, mm. and uh, bro, that shit was on point. That's what's up, man. I appreciate it, man. Definitely, everybody, make sure you guys subscribe to KZagon20. Go to KZagon20's channel, subscribe because you, you, you always spin the hot fire. You feel me? Appreciate that, man. I'm That's what's you, bro. up. All right, bro. I'm holla. Peace. Peace. All right. So listen, guys, I gotta get out of here. 
in uh <clears throat> so listen uh make sure you guys get the book how to have sex 200 day ebook card copy audiobook make sure you get your copy click the link below um also make sure you guys remember to get the man the fuck up shirts you feel what i'm saying we got some new t-shirts and stuff coming out too pretty soon so you guys can click the link below to uh you know get that um let me shout out to people in the chat room shout out my dude sticky e ultra gold chain jay reese your boy mar sidetrack was popping dre the great um who else mestiabo the culture raid society um trilla Tex. who else jonathan woodruff um who else is up in here leonardo Detroit was good. A kid you know was popping. Who else is up in here? Young K Sue. Shout out to my dude K Zagan. Dre the Great. Mr. James Bond. Man, I appreciate everybody chilling up in here. Shout out to Ed Dowling, Sade Lover. All right, so listen, I'm going to be back on Friday. Okay? So I will holler at you guys later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone.